Mr. Clark Terry, Mr. Joe Wilbur, Mr. Harry Sweets, Edison, welcome to the International Jazz Festival Burn 1997. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Gentlemen, you. the three of you, plus Snooky Young and Doc Cheatham, are performing tonight under the title The Legendary Trumpet Masters. Right. How do you feel about this? That name? means old. That means old? <laughs> yeah. Do you feel old? Of course. I am old. How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> do you feel old, Joe? <laughs> A, a little bit, a little bit. And what about you, Sweets? I'm in between. <laughs> You're in between. Yeah, I'm in between. Five masters, all of you famous. Who's the boss? Clark Terry. I'm not the boss. I'm just yeah. one of the ones. He blew the funeral. If I don't get paid, you won't see him next year. <laughs> I see. <laughs> all of you have such a huge repertoire. How do you select select the songs you're going to play tonight? Well, we just, uh, from having been associated with, the, uh, with each other for a number of years, we know the tunes that are favorable ones and ones that are, uh, you know, easily t uh, dealt with. And we never have too much of a problem choosing material. We just use the standard equipment, you know. We don't try to pick anything too bizarre, too personal, or too difficult, you know. But uh, this is the first time you work together as a unit, isn't right. it? Right, yeah. Right. As a unit, right. And you never rehearsed? No. It's not necessary. Well, I'm not going to say what you think I'm going to say either. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot say it. <laughs> uh, you don't think it's... It's not necessary to rehearse, not at all. No, we are able to communicate with each other. You know, yeah, well, after a period of years, you know, we always have communicated with each other. Like <clears throat> Clark and I, we've been knowing each other for many years. Joe, um, what do you think about those young lions, as they call the, the young trumpet players, high energy players? Well, they have a great deal of energy, you know, and they, they have a great deal of knowledge too. Most of them. I mean, uh, a lot of them, I think, are at this stage of their lives, maybe a little better school than we were yeah. at that time. You know, at the same age, and uh, mm -hmm. a lot of us were pretty well schooled, but we acquired certain uh, finesse <laughs> over the years, you know, with experience. But they come in. That may be one of the things that they that they learn from us a certain finesse at an earlier age, and, and uh, they're more aware of what's going on, I think, than than we were at that at that same stage of our lives. But I always say, sweets, uh, the young players that they have problems because they only knew, uh, let's say, uh, Charlie Parker from videos or from records, and they never had the chance to play with him. Did you learn a lot from the masters you set in, you played with? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, like Clark said, Louis Armstrong, he was my idol. And uh, Dizzy Gillespie was a great friend of all of us. And uh, I've heard him say many times, if you want to play a solo, you want to have to play something that Louis Armstrong has played. Sure.